Hey guys, so I just kind of wanted to give you a quick rundown of, of why I purchased the uh, power supply from Spectrum in my charging needs. And really quickly I'll kind of go over with, a, with another charger the problem I was having. Uh, with my big 6S batteries I wasn't really able to charge them how I wanted to and I'm going to show you how and why. This charger is rated at 10 amps, but if you see if I start one battery It'll usually come up to like the 4, 3, 4, 4 amp range, which is fine because that's about the same that you get with the power supply. The uh, real difference comes in when you actually run multiple batteries at once. And that's kind of the basis of it. You know, I, I was able to charge one battery at a time, high, high output, but I wasn't able to do multiple. So if we let this one come up here. So we're going to get right in that 3... 4, 3, 4, 4 range and it'll stop. So if I go ahead and stop both of these and then start them both up. We do have this hooked into 120 house power currently. Um, the DC converter actually changes 120 house into 12 to 18 volts of DC current. And uh, I don't really understand the, the electronical background of it, but it's a much cleaner power supply and gives you better amp output by doing so. So that top battery is about 2.4, 2.3, we're dropping and stabilizing. So both of them are right about 2.2 two right now. So this was the issue I was having. Uh, if I was doing both batteries, I could only get about 4 amps out of both, um, which is basically the, the standard supply to one battery. So. It was either charge one battery at four amps or charge two at like two amps and that just wasn't quick enough for me out at the field so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what what it does with the power converter now all right so now we got it hooked up to our spectrum power supply uh, banana pins to a XT60 connector will power that and I'm gonna go ahead and run the same test power on one battery get it charging we should see about the same 4243 amp range and then I'm gonna shut it off and run them both at the same time uh, this is where the benefits came in for me is I was actually able to charge two batteries at the same amperage whereas I couldn't do that with just a standard wall outlet. It basically cuts my charging time in half if I can do two batteries at the same amperage rather than 2.2 2 .2 amps I can do them at 4.3, So now we've just come up with stabilized at 4.2, 4.3 you guys can see that. So I'm going to stop it and start them both up. And we can see the difference between the wall outlet power and the power inverter power. You can definitely tell it's running more juice to it. It's getting a little warm, so I kicked the fan on. So if you see now we're at 4.1 and 4.3, they should both eventually stabilize about 4.3, 4.4 each. So definitely get more power to it and like I said definitely cuts your charging times down especially if you're out at the field and just trying to burn through batteries so there's kind of my quick rundown of the benefits of running that power supply even to a, a non-spectrum smart charger